So yesterday we went and we got our chicks for the summer yeah. and picked them up. So we're going to yeah. show you some videos of getting our chicks and getting them all set up in their brooder. Yeah. And then we um, are going to read a book about yeah. a chicken to go with our chick videos. What are we going to do? We're going to get chicks. We're going to get chicks. Okay. Are you excited? Yes. How many are we getting? Not positive. Get out the, that side of the door where there's not traffic and stand on the sidewalk. No problem. Hopkins, illustrated by Henry Cole. Um. Out on the grasslands where bison roam, Mary McBlicken, the prairie chicken, was scratch scratching for her breakfast when all of a sudden she heard a rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling. Oh no, she exclaimed, a stampede's a coming. I need to hightail it back to the ranch to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan. They'll know what to do. So away Mary ran, lickety-splickety, as fast as her little prairie chicken legs could carry her. On her way to the ranch, Mary came upon Jeffrey Snog, the prairie dog, who was soaking up some sunshine. Good morning to you, barked Jeffrey. No time for good mornings, warned Mary. A stampede's a-coming. How do you know that this is so, asked Jeffrey. I heard a rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling, I did, said Mary. A stampede, yes indeed, said Jeffrey. Come with me to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan, hollered Mary. Let's hit the trail, barked Jeffrey, and away the pair ran lickety-splickety towards the ranch. Soon, they met Bo Grabbit, the jackrabbit, who was nibbling on some sweet grass. Where are you two going in such a hurry, he asked. A stampede's a-coming, said Mary. We're heading to the ranch to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan. How do you know that this is so? asked Bo. I heard a rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling, I did, said Mary. A stampede, yes indeed, said Bo. Come with us to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan, hollered Mary. Let's hop to it then, said Bo. And they lit off across the prairie, lickety splickety towards the ranch. He's the rabbit right here. He's the rabbit. 
Before long, the trio came across June Spark, the meadow lark. Oh, like Charlie. Yeah. Who was building her nest in the tall prairie grass. What's going on? asked June. A stampede's a coming, chorused the trio. How do you know that this is so? asked June. I heard a rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling, I did, said Mary. A stampede, yes indeed, said June. Come with us to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan, hollered Mary. What are we waiting for, chirped June. And away they all flew, lickety-splickety, toward the ranch. It wasn't long before Slim Brody, the sly coyote, spotted them making their way across the prairie. Well, hello there, my fine feathered and furry friends. What's the big rush? A stampede's a-coming. We're heading to the ranch to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan, said Mary. It's your lucky day, said Slim. I just happened to know a shortcut. Oh, I He had no intention of taking them to the ranch. Instead, he led them across the plain, over a hill, through a pass, around a bend, and down a gully, to the entrance of his den. What's this? squawked Mary. This, snarled Slim, is the passage to the shortcut. He flashed a toothy smile and closed in on Mary McBlicken and the others. Uh-oh. The fine feathered and furry friends all started clucking and barking and thumping and chirping as loud as they could. Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan heard the ruckus and came charging across the prairie towards the den. Dan made a beeline for Slim Brody and chased that coyote lickety-splickety far, far away. What's going on? asked Stan. A stampede's a coming, cried Mary. How do you know that this is so? asked Stan. But before Mary could open her beak to speak, everyone heard a rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling. Yes, indeed. Why, that's not a stampede, said Stan. That's your stomach. There's only one way to head off a rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling stomach. You need some grub. So Cowboy Stan cooked up a fine supper for these critters. And that took care of Mary McBlicken's stomach stampede. Lickety splickety. Yes, indeed. Come back tomorrow and read with us. Come back tomorrow. Come read with us.